All right, let's look at Q2, domain and range of relations. So we're asked, what is the range of this relation? So a couple of things you need to remember is domain is the x values. Or you can remember the first coordinate in an ordered pair. And the range is the y values, which is the second coordinate in an ordered pair. And one of the ways that helped me remember when I was trying to learn this is that an ordered pair goes in the same order as the alphabet. So when you say, um, when you say T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, you see how X comes before Y, just like an ordered pair, X, always comes before y. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have as our first one. And we may not write very much on this as far as the paper. What is the range of the relation? So I know I'm looking at all the y values. It says write the numbers in the range with the commas between them. For example, 1, 2, and 3. So here we know it's negative 19, comma, 3, comma, 13, comma, 15. And again, always write um, the domain or range when asked for in the order of least to greatest. What is the domain of this relation? So on, on questions like this, when you have a graph, I would encourage you to write the ordered pair. So I'm going to write starting from left I'm going to write the, the ordered pair starting from the furthest left and move right. So here I have negative 3, positive 5, and the next ordered pair I have is negative 2, comma, negative 2 and the next one that I have then would be all the way over here so my x value would be 5 comma my y value would be negative 2 so it's asking me for the domain so it's asking me for all the numbers that I wrote in blue or all the numbers that I wrote first so it's negative 3, comma, negative 2, comma, 5. What is the domain of this relation? Okay. So I have negative 4, comma, 1. And where I got that from was this ordered pair right here. So negative 4, 1. This one is negative 2, comma, 0. This ordered pair is 3, comma, 0. And then there's 3, comma, 1. Well, automatically something should go through your head. This is not a function because the x value has more than one output or the domain has more than one range. 
the input has more than one output and um, those outputs are not unique. So remember when we talked about um, when writing the domain, if we have that number, that x value twice or the y value twice, we don't need to write it twice. We just write it once. So my domain would be negative 4, comma, negative 2, comma, and 3. What is the range? So I would just type in negative 19, comma, negative 9, comma, and then 18. I just put them in order from least to greatest. What is the range of this relation? We're looking at the y values again. So it's negative 14, comma, 2, comma, not period, comma, 16, comma, 17. And here we have the graph again. So it says, what, are the domain, what is the domain of the relation? So this time, I'm not going to write the ordered pairs. I'm just going to follow along the x-axis. So here, I have negative 4. Then I'm going to go over, keep going over to the right, go over to the right. The next one I come to is positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and positive 5. So negative 4, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and positive 5. What is the range of the relation? So I'm looking at all the second digits in the ordered pair, or all the second coordinates, or all the y coordinates. That's what gives me the range. So I'm going to go from least to greatest. I've got 1, oh no, I'm sorry, negative 18, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma, 5, comma, 17, comma, 20. Alright, domain, again, we're just going to follow along the x-axis to find the domain, and we're going to read from left to right, just like a book. So negative 3, then we're looking for where our next point is. It's at 2. Go from 2 to our next point. It's at 4. Go on over. The last one is at 5. And this is not a function, because if we did the vertical line test, it, the input of 4 has an output of both 0 and negative 3. I misread this, didn't I? See, even math teachers make a mistake. I don't know where I got 3 from. I guess because I looked at this number. I got it, though. So, as you can see, the domain of the relations is a set of x-coordinates. So, they wrote the coordinates and then wrote what they had there. Let's try this again. What is the domain of the relation? Notice it kicked me back down. So, I've got negative 8 negative 7, seven and 19. I don't write negative 8 twice, just once. Okay, let's try this. Now the range, remember, is everything from top to bottom. So this time, I'm looking at the second coordinate in the ordered pair. So on this one, I would write, I, I am going to write the ordered pairs on this one. So I have, and I'm just going to write them in one, one color, negative 4, comma 5, negative 3, comma 0. So this is the first one, this is the second one. Then 1, 4.
2, negative 1. Four, negative three, and then five, negative five. And I'm just going to pick all of my y values. Again, I'm going to do this from the least to greatest. So negative five, comma, negative three comma, negative 1, comma, 0, comma, 4, 5. So negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 0, 4, and 5. What is the domain? So I'm going to write all the x values. It would be 8, sorry, no, negative 19 is the smallest number, then 8, then 19. So I have negative 19, 8, and 19. What's the domain? So on this one, this time, I'm just going to kind of look the, at the number that's on the x, the x axis to tell me what my domain would be. So I know negative 5, negative 3, 3, 4, The range is all possible y values, so the second coordinates, it's just 0 and 1. This time they're asking for both the domain and the range, so the domain is going to be negative 5, negative 4, negative 2, 2 and 5 and then for the range I'm going to go bottom to top so negative 4 going across this way negative 3 negative 1, three, and 4. Domain, so all possible x's, so that's 10 and 14. And then range is all possible y values, that's negative 17, negative 10, and 18. What are the domain and range of this relation? So domain would be everything in the x position or the input position. Back this up and put negative 12 first. And then the range is everything that comes out, which would be negative 6, 3, 5 and 6. And then from the graph, you would do it the same way as we did the other ones. So go ahead, continue on. Get that 100. I know you can do it. Talk with you later.